In today's video I'm going to be reviewing one of the Korean chemical sunscreen which is B-Lab. I'm sorry just sun cream and I also will be talking very shortly about the news that Shake and the skincare world community its brand keep cool to stop the sales because uh, their sunscreen is less than SPF 50. So I'm talking here about skincare, makeup and sometimes I do unboxing videos on my channel. So if you think like it's your thing, don't hesitate to join my channel. Let's be friends and don't forget to click like button, subscription button and notification bell so you will see my videos. But this sunscreen is also made by the same manufacturer as Keep Cool. I would like to review this one and actually there is no news yet uh, is it really SPF 50 or not so we are still like in the on hold For now I still would like to review it and how it's going to do with the makeup I'm here using the moonshot cushion I think you might know how much the sunscreen you need to apply on your skin it's about a quarter of a teaspoon, so 1.25 milliliters. However, it depends on how big is your face because not everybody have the same face. So for example, some people have smaller faces, some people have bigger faces. So, but by standard, it should be one quarter of a teaspoon. So it's 1.25 milliliters. Let's do that. So right here I have one quarter of a teaspoon and I'm going to apply it. As you can see that it's very thick cream in the consistency so it's not like the Keep Cool one because Keep Cool I haven't used it but as far as what I saw on the reviews on the internet on social media that watery like like lotion like but this one is actually very thick in the consistency and you will see it on my face i actually uh, bought the sunscreen in jo on joel's website which is one of the korean uh, skincare makeup retailer since the sunscreen is a chemical one so it doesn't give you a white cast when the sunscreen is uh, diluted like ocean like that means that it might not pass the spf testing and also what i like about the sunscreen it's also hydrating and uh, moisturizing your skin very, very well so you don't feel like you are drying my skin is combination right now and it's also acne prone i actually was kind of skeptical about chemical sunscreens because my skin is sensitive so i would like to buy some physical sunscreens but again you know uh, some people don't like physical sunscreen because they give you white cast but i think white cast can be masked with the foundation with the makeup and then there is no problem at all i would say so I'm still applying this one quarter of a teaspoon and I would say it's pretty a lot of cream that you need to put and you know some people say that oh stop using the B lab because we don't know it's made by the same manufacturers keep cool but I would say that you know if it's like a not very sunny day and if it's winter in your country i think it's still okay to use that and anyway don't forget that you need to reapply your sunscreen like every two three hours because it might break down with the sweat with the friction korean sunscreen are not uh, entire friction creams uh, sunscreens uh, for example it's more about japanese one because when you touch it with your hands and with the clothes it doesn't go away it will stay on your skin and also i would say don't forget about the neck because you know the sun also can reach out your neck as well with chemical sunscreens we don't really see how much we apply because with physical sunscreen if they give you white cast you will see that you're getting whiter and i remember that i saw on social media posts from dermatologists from australia and he said the whiter you are the better 
so you will have the maximum protection of your skin. And also I'm finishing the application right now and I feel like my face is so soft. Yeah, it still maybe looks a little bit crazy because I'm using lights and it feels like it's my skin is reflecting on the camera, but I see it as well, uh, even without reflection right here, because I would like to test how the sunscreen is going to work with the cushion. I'm having the cushion by the moonshot. So I would say that this sunscreen is more like moisturizer, like very good one, like very thick one. And when I start applying the cushion, it's actually nice. Like my cushion is like uh, gliding. So as you can see that my cushion is set up very well so I would say that this sunscreen is also works well as a primer. Just finished uh, applying the cushion by Moonshot on my face and this is the end result. So I hope that you can see it on the camera very well. And I would say that cushion is set very nicely on this sunscreen. It feels like it's very uh, moisturized, like my skin doesn't feel dry on the sunscreen. And I would say that this sunscreen is also plays a very good role at priming the skin and moisturizing the skin so i would say that if it really passed the spf testing i will completely continue using it because it doesn't have any scent it moisturizes my skin it doesn't make you feel crazy and also works very well with the makeup and also it has three filters and it's very thick cream so i think that it has a very good protection from the sun if it really passed the spf 50. i guess this is all for today i will see you in my next videos more reviews on skincare and makeup so don't forget to click like and subscription button and let's be friends and i see you in my next videos bye bye